Well, it's day two of the snow apocalypse, and it has lived up to and exceeded our worst fears. Well, speaking seriously, we're all still alive and everything, and we haven't had any power outages yet. We're far luckier than a lot of people. But what you're going to see now is a video taken all around uh, 1.30 in the afternoon on day two of the snow apocalypse. We have upwards of 30 inches of snow and it's still coming down, so watch the video. It's nice that you're making nice even walls for them, TJ. Retention walls. <laughs> for the dog corral. Oh I'm gonna come down here. Look at this wall here. Yeah. Could you like maybe help me over toward the uh, driveway so I can get some shots of that? We have any two by four, just probably put in buttresses pretty soon. <laughs> That's That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Do you want to maybe hang pictures up for them or something? <laughs> yeah, you come out here and pee in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to head up. You have the... somewhat square corners. <laughs> I will. I want to just get a look at the driveway. and They haven't even tried to plow the street yet, have they? Nope. They probably ain't going to be able to. Probably have to call a professional plow. But you got the driveway nice and down to concrete. Uh huh. This is absolutely incredible. Yeah. See, we had a big snowstorm back in 2003, but this beats the hell out of it. There's the neighborhood. Look at all those trees weighed down by snow over there. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I heard that. So if you got out of here decently okay. We've got like a uneven snow berm on top of ours there. There's the back of our house. High down that rail. Yeah. And it's still coming down. It's like a moonscape out here. Just ridiculous, crazy snow. Well, there's much to be said for having kept up on it, rather than having to come out and do it all at once, huh? I'm glad I did what I did last night. That's three or four inches less than it would have been. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that's the first thing I did when I walked out. And, that's and already it's starting. Collected already. God, that's incredible right there. It's as tall as the recyclable bins. I still say we should hang up some paintings for the doggies. Maybe little cartoon doggies or something. I can see where Raven's original turd was there. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look here, I can almost reach out and touch the snow from my porch. I think I should probably jump off this railing. <laughs> I would never see you again. <laughs>
That's something. And now TJ is going to jump into the snowbank. Who's going to get you out? Yeah. I'll get out. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> Ever since you've lived here, you've wanted to fall backwards off, <laughs> off that rail, haven't you? <laughs> I told him before, I says, now who should get snuck dead to the snow deer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you off, you wouldn't hurt yourself too bad. I, I better get back in the house. <laughs> that was good, TJ. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Void. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I'm standing above the surface of the deck right now. <laughs> Incredible, huh? When TJ was little and we lived in Milwaukee, we'd go walking uh, sometimes after a snowfall, and I'd give him a little hip shove into the snow banks and tell him I was feeding him with the snow demons. That's why I hurried back into the house at the end of that uh, segment because the last thing I need right now is to be fed to snow demons. Well, unless there's anything particularly further of interest to video, I'll just uh, say that's the end of the snowpocalypse. Watch for further pictures as the situation warrants. <laughs>